Hey guys, I needed to do a review for this movie today. Um, this movie came out in stores today at Walmart right now, but I got this at midnight last night just because I really had to see this movie. I've heard a little bit about it, but I'm a, I'm a huge fan of serial killer movies, and I've heard that this one's really well done. I even heard one reviewer say that it's the best serial killer movie since uh, Silence of the Lambs, and... Uh, I gotta say, I like it better than Silence of the Lambs, to be honest. Um, I'll get into this in a little bit, but I'll just do the quick plot first. Uh, this kid, he he's like this really do-good type kid. He's really high up in the Eagle Scouts, and uh, you know, he, he's it's a really Christian town, a really Christian family where they like pray before every meal, and you know, he, it goes as far as he's not even allowed to drink soda or anything. It's like a really strict Christian household, and. Uh, he ends up stealing his dad's truck one night to go take this girl out and the girl ends up finding this like picture of this woman all bound up and tied and gagged and stuff in the truck and uh, you know obviously they end up calling the dude a creep and all that so he ends up keeping real hush hush about it he doesn't tell his dad that you know they found this crazy ass picture in his truck and uh, the dad has this like shed that he keeps locked up and all that so the kid ends up going into this shed and, uh, you know, seeing, basically snooping around trying to find some evidence or whatever to see, like, what's up with his dad. And he ends up finding an actual Polaroid picture of this woman all tied up and gagged and all that. And the name on the Polaroid said Nora. And one of the victims of this Clovehitch killer, his name was Nora. And it's been like 10 years since the Clovehitch killer striked and all that. So the kid ends up thinking his dad is this Clovehitch killer. And he ends up befriending this girl who's, like, obsessed with true crime and uh, doing all these investigations on the Clovich killer. And uh, it's basically the movies you're wondering if the dude, the dad did it or not. I don't want to give any spoilers at all because if you, the less you know about it, the better. But I will say there was a lot of twists and turns in this. And so it'll, be, it'll be, like, a huge twist and then it'll twist back. And it, it, it's definitely, like, a roller coaster ride of a movie. Now, it's weird because there is a kind of a slow pace to it. But the tension in this film is so thick, it's, I had to pause it, like, halfway through, just, you know, get a drink, take a breather, just because this movie is really tense, like, your nerves are almost getting shot watching this, because there's moments where people are getting caught or something, and then they'll worm their way out of it, it's just, like, really intense conversations and dialogue, and just the same scenarios are crazy, and it's, it's a really intense movie, um, Dylan McDermott's performance, I wish he would have got, like, recognized. Like, he should have won an award for this performance. Like, I feel the same way about his performance as I did um, Tony Collette's performance in Hereditary. Now, uh, the kid, Charlie Plummer, he put in a really good performance, too. Because usually I find kids annoying in movies like this. Like, uh, Summer of 84 kind of had a similar story, but they those kids are more kiddish and immature. This kid was a lot more mature, and he's a lot easier to handle on the movie. He's actually did a really good performance. Same with the redhead girl, he befriends. The mom, too. Everybody put in a really good performance. Um, the atmosphere was amazing. Like, the town felt like a town I grew up in. Um, so it was kind of a nostalgic feeling for me as far as that goes. But, yeah, just the performances all around really sold this movie to me. And there's some really eerie scenes, like, like I, said, I can't give anything away, but yeah, um, it's just, you have to go out and get this movie. I think this thing was like 12 bucks at Walmart. It's definitely worth that. If you go to Walmart and see it, pick it up, because you need to do yourself a favor and watch this. Now, my top two favorite movies of 2018 were Hereditary and Halloween, and I couldn't see anything knocking those off. If I would have seen this in 2018, when it had like a little theatrical run, this would have made my favorite movie of 2018. Um, you know, I, I'm so blown away by this movie. I'm still shocked at how much I like this movie. And I never thought a movie from 2018 would knock down Halloween. So the fact that this I like this better should really say something. Uh, I hope a lot of people get this and support it. I'd love to see this director make more movies. And uh, Dylan McDermott, man, he... He was a really underrated actor. I know he was an American Horror Story and stuff like that, but this movie, he, sh he should be get known for this movie. Like, I love this thing. It's it's definitely my favorite movie of 2018, and I can't stress that enough. Um, 
I bought this on DVD because Walmart didn't have the Blu-ray, but when I get paid in, in a week and a half, I will be ordering the Blu-ray for it. So um, in about two weeks, I'll be doing a giveaway on this DVD. So anybody who didn't buy it, you will have a chance to win this DVD because um, I'll have no need for it because I'm definitely buying the Blu-ray. It's on my list of top favorite movies of all time. So I definitely will be buying that Blu-ray. So yeah, stay tuned for a giveaway on this. And uh, I'll be getting some other stuff too because I reached over 100 subscribers. But this will definitely be on the giveaway list. So uh, yeah, I look forward to that. But you know, I can't really say anything much more about it without giving anything away. You know, the score was really minimal but effective. But just the tension in this movie. Like, if you were interested in film at all, like making a movie, it's definitely a movie you would want to see just because... It, it's it'd be it's I can't even say anything more about it but uh, yeah definitely get that movie it's really a treat it's shocking IFC put it out um, but yeah I give it a literally a ten out of ten I didn't see a single flaw about the movie but uh, anyways guys thanks for watching peace.